Good day, everyone. From the previous discussions, we talked about the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. And to give our capitulation, golden ratio is denoted by the Greek alphabet phi, which is equal to 1.61803. This number is actually irrational, meaning it does not have an ending and it does not repeat. This morning, we'll be talking about the places or the things wherein the golden ratio is applicable. Number eight, the Taj Mahal in Agra, India. The Taj Mahal in India is considered to be the world, one of the world's most known structure. It was built as a mausoleum for Muntaz Mahal, the wife of Shah Jahan, and because of the perfection of Taj Mahal, it has been credited as UNESCO's World Heritage Site of 1983. And with about 7 to 8 million tourists visiting it every year, it was considered to be the new Seven Wonders of the World in 2007. Now, if you're going to look at pictures of Taj Mahal, the exterior buildings or the exterior features of Taj Mahal is actually based on golden rectangles. And because of these golden rectangles, golden ratios were created in building the Taj Mahal, making it aesthetic and making it very panoramic for visitors. Number seven, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa is a very famous painting painted by Leonardo da Vinci. And perhaps you do not know, you do not know this one, it was painted using golden ratio. If you are going to look at the face of Mona Lisa across her eyes, across her head, from the hand to the neck, there are actually golden ratios created. And because of that, Mona Lisa becomes a very good painting and very scenic to view. Number six, the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza is a very astonishing structure with high accuracy and precision that even today's technology cannot achieve such precision and accuracy. Now, with its base, which is equal to 230.4, approximately 230.4 meters, and a height of approximately 138 meters, if you're going to divide that one, that actually shows golden ratios, meaning the Golden Pyramid of Giza is actually an example of golden triangles. Number five. Music. Why would you hear loves listening music? I think most of us. Tama? Chay kung madrama ta, maghugut ta, happy ta, sad ta, gapang ginawa ta music, no? And who knows that music actually applies golden ratio. Um, musicians like Mozart, Debussy, all of them use a golden ratio to create a very harmonious rhythm. Let's try to hear this one as an example. Number four, DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is actually the storehouse of the physical features of certain living things. Like for example, sa tuwang case, ang mga mahimo na tuwang physical features, those are actually stored sa tuwang DNA. And who knows, who could have thought that DNA actually has golden ratio in them. The DNA is formed by two perpendicular or two intertwined perpendicular helixes. And these helixes have lengths 34 Armstrong and 21 Armstrong. And kung hinog duman niyo, those numbers si 21 o si 34, those are actually two consecutive numbers sa ang Fibonacci sequence. Meaning, if we are going, going to divide 34 by 21, Makakuha taog, golden ratio. Number three, advertising. To create amazing designs in advertising, most of those people assigned to advertising industry use golden ratio. Designers use math in order for them to create better websites or advertisements or even social media posts. Using golden rectangle to organize content, gain more attention from the viewers. Number two, anatomy of living things. Do you know that ikaw mismo sa imong is the best example of golden ratio? 
Try to do this one. I measure ang kataas sa imuhang kamot. Kaning kataas sa imuhang kamot. And then I measure ang kataas sa imuhang forearm dere. And if you're going to do that, try to get the ratio of those. And you would be surprised that it will create golden ratio. Try ganin ninyo na. Another example, ang kataas na ito mismo, and then ang kataas sa ito ang gikan sa belly button, or gikan sa ito ang pusod, padalong sa ubos, if you're going to measure all those things, yung muna siya divide, that actually creates golden ratio. And that means, kita mismo sa itong kaugalingon are the best example of golden ratio. Number one, Human facial construction. You can say number two, ngani yung tanga kita mismo ang best example. Now for number one, we have the human facial construction. Kani atong dagway, no? According to most sir, um, most surgeons, anas sila ang pinaka best daw kung or pinaka guwa pang naisura sa dagway is katong proportional. So try to measure kung ani yung dagway proportional ba? Ay kung proportional na siya, guwa pa ka pero pag dili. Ito, no? Now, human facial construction, actually, um, if you're going to measure sa kataas ay mong agtang, and then kataas ay mong ulo, ibuo, supposedly, makreate na siya golden ratio. That's why, kung gusto mo na magpa-surgery, gusto ninyo ipatangitag inyong ilong, or ipataas ni may, make sure na ang inyong doktor ay ibalo sa golden ratio. And in that case, ang resulta na, guwapagin mo after sa inyong surgery. Those are the places we're in Golden ratios can be applied. So, karong palang daan, try to look around. Pananawa kung unsa pa kaya or asa pa kaya na ito makita ang golden ratio. I hope that you've learned something from this video and see you for the next videos.